It was pitch black inside the room. But he had a feeling that someone was watching him. He walked into the hallway and witnessed a horrible scene. I'm quite real, kiddo. Welcome. James was five years old. It was Saturday and he was so excited to play with his toys. But James had a secret. He had an imaginary friend no one else could see, Laughing Jack. Jack was very fun and always had new activities for them to try. James walked down into the kitchen. Hi Jack. Well, hello kiddo. Do you want to play with my cars today? Sounds like an excellent idea. James played with his friend for hours, until his mother called for him that dinner was ready. James hurried down to the kitchen. Mom, I've had so much fun today. I promised Jack that I wouldn't tell anyone, but we have played all afternoon with my cars. It was so much fun. Oh, is that your imaginary friend? Yes. Oh, that's okay, as long as you don't forget about your real friends. James nodded, and suddenly, his smile disappeared. Jack was standing right behind his mother, smiling, and whispering something James couldn't hear. His mother couldn't see Jack, or the knife he was holding. A few hours later, when James' mother had gone to bed, she was dreaming horrible nightmares. Nightmares about clowns killing children in an abandoned fairground. The next day, James continued playing with Jack. After a while, Jack bent down and whispered, Do you want some candy, kiddo? Yes, please. Jack put his hand inside his pocket and pulled out a handful of candy. Thank you. James started eating the candy. Then, James' mother walked out and saw her son eating candy. Where did you get that from? Jack gave it to me. Don't lie to me. You can't accept candy from strangers. You know this. Later that afternoon, Jack appeared to James again. Hi kiddo, do you want to play with the dog? Yes, good idea. They stood up and started looking for Fido. Fido, where are you? Fido, where... He walked into the hallway and witnessed a horrible scene. Fido was gutted, hanging from one of the walls, and from inside his open stomach, Candy was falling out. James started screaming and his mother ran up to him. James heard Jack laughing in the background. His mother screamed, picked up James, ran out of the house and called the police. The police dismissed it as a robbery. After a long day and the police finally had left the house, James' mother carried sleeping James to his bed where he could rest. Afterwards, she walked down to the kitchen. After a few hours, James woke up. It was pitch black inside the room. But he had a feeling that someone was watching him. Jack? Hi, kiddo. Why did you hurt Fido? You know what? I'm going to tell you a story. Laughing Jack was initially a colorful jack-in-the-box clown whose personality reflected the personality of his owners. He was later sent as a Christmas present to a lonely boy named Isaac. Isaac then abandoned Laughing Jack after being sent to a boarding school. Laughing Jack grew emotionless as a result of his isolation. Meanwhile, Isaac grew up to become a cold-hearted serial killer who kidnapped, tortured, and murdered several innocent neighborhood residents. 
although horrified at first. Loving Jack's personality soon emulated Isaac's evil personality. One day, Laughing Jack was accidentally released, and he appeared to be a darker version of himself. Resentful, he tortured and killed Isaac with the same weapons he used on his victims. As the time passed, Laughing Jack visited several other children, most of them lonely or neglected, and pretended to be their imaginary friend. However, he could eventually torture and kill them all, with their souls trapped in the nightmarish realm of an abandoned fairground. James was so terrified he was shaking. I'm quite real, kiddo. In fact, I've been waiting for such a long time for this day to finally come, when I can play with my best friend one last time.